You can keep talking, but I do want to remind you, you paid a lot of money to be here. And uh, I already got it, so. Um, had I known there were going to be this many folks, I would have prepared something. Um, I, uh, I don't know how many of you know, I, uh, I started in uh, advertising in the, um, sort of in the traditional advertising business, um, image stuff. And um, I was told, by the way, when I started in the advertising business, uh, it, 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 that if you want to keep an account, uh, all you need, uh, your ideal account, is a, uh, is, is, is a medium-sized uh, company where, where the CEO signs the checks. Uh, it's a dog food company, and the CEO's wife uh, owns and loves a bunch of fluffy little poodles. Because then all you gotta do is put fluffy little poodles in all the ads, and you'll keep the account for somewhere between nine and 18 months um, because, it, first of all, it'll take them that long to figure out that what you're doing isn't working. And then there'll be a grace period after they figure it out where they won't be able to fire you because the spouse loves the dogs and all the ads. And uh, unfortunately, that's actually pretty good advice about traditional advertising. Um, and so very quickly, uh, I began my evolution. Um, I thought about it a little bit. I went back and looked. I, um, I, I wrote my first uh, full page uh, direct response ad uh, for a trade journal in the tennis industry in uh, 1974. And um, this was a company that uh, built air supported uh, domes that go over tennis courts and other sites in um, parts of the country where there was bad weather. Um, this particular company, uh, unbeknownst to me until some level of involvement, had a minor technological flaw with their particular product. Um, the, um, the vinyl uh, dissolved <laughs> and, um, and the buildings collapsed. Um, I still uh, shudder every time I go to the state of Texas. Um, I don't know if you know it, but Tyler, Texas uh, is, the, uh, is the black rose capital of the world. And uh, there's a farm down there that had their entire crop wiped out when that particular year when this building that this company had erected dissolved and crashed down onto and flattened all of the roses. There's also a tennis court in Akron, Ohio where the thing came loose on the one side of the anchoring and the wind came up under it and like a big sail, it came up in the air and crashed down on the other side on the house next to the tennis courts and flattened the house. Uh, minor technological flaw, but, but setting, aside, setting aside the product flaws, uh, we ran this full page, this full page ad in uh, whatever the tennis industry journal is, I don't remember the name of it anymore. And um, it, was, it was the only ad with no pictures. Um, this will all sound familiar to you, but uh, it is the only ad with no pictures. Um, it, the, it, neither the client nor at the time we were very sophisticated or had much money, so the, the ad was done on a typewriter. Um, this is, so it looked like, there was no problem making it look like typewriter type. Um, which seems to be a major difficulty these, for a lot of people these days, but um, we, we had no trouble at that time because we did it on the typewriter and um, blew the headline up on the copier, you know, and stitched it together and sent it off to the magazine. And uh, of course we started from them refusing to run it uh, because it didn't have pictures and you know, all of that. But ultimately this ad ran and it's been a long time obviously, but as I recall it produced something like 800, 900 leads and uh, one of which was um, Kevin's Wilson at the Holiday Inns Corporation who subsequently spent almost a million dollars with this company. Um, so it was a pretty profitable ad. And um, it, it, it began you know, to sink in that this was a more productive approach than, uh, than pretty pictures of buildings and logos and everything else that had been done. Um, and I began to do more and more of it and less and less of the of the quote, quote, normal stuff. Um, 
if you look around the room um, at each other, uh, you, see, uh, you see testament to the power of words on paper, because uh, that's why you're all here. And um, it, uh, it, it demonstrates that uh, you can sell just about anything, um, and I believe you can sell just about anything with words on paper. So this is a process I've been working at my entire life, and I'm going to try uh, and download uh, to you over the next two days um, what I know. Um, with this uh, caveat, uh, when I told you I was going to teach you everything, I lied, because um, uh, I don't know that I can. Uh, you know, you reach in anything that you do, in whatever business you're in, probably this is true for you in the technical aspects of what it is that you do, you, um, you reach a point where you do some things without knowing why you do them, and trying to analyze backwards is, um, is sometimes difficult. There's, a, um, there's an age-old thing about the going, going to interview the 100-year-old man, and he's got a floor-length beard, and the interviewer asks him, do you sleep with the beard inside the covers or outside the covers, and the guy never slept again. And, <laughs> you know, there, there is some of that. Um, uh, the other caveat is, uh, which I think actually you all want, is mostly my primary objective in the time we have together is to, is to teach you how to cheat, uh, how to shortcut this process. Um, uh, because I find that, that and I know many, I, know, I don't know, maybe a third of you in the room, um, many of you are already pretty good at this but painfully slow. Uh, and I have people tell me that they have 50 hours, 100 hours, a decade, <laughs> um, you know, in, in invested in getting one sales letter down on paper. And, um, and, and how painful, somebody said writing's easy, you just sit down at the typewriter and slit your wrist. Uh, for, for some of you, that probably is your experience. Um, I would say my, my average on a, say, a, a direct mail package, my average time investment is down to under half a day. Uh, I'm not sure that it is smart of me to publicly confess that. But, <laughs> um, but, but, but I'll tell you that that's true. And uh, there's a number of reasons for that, some of which can be transferred to you and some of which cannot, but most of which can. And so one of the objectives I have is to uh, not only improve your skill and, and the outcome of what it is that you do, but to hasten the process for you so it is uh, not only uh, easier, but a whole heck of a lot faster. Uh, and so as we go along, I'm going to be showing you little shortcuts and little ways to cheat. And um, late today, I'm going to give you the one big uh, 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 cheating uh, truth that uh, most copywriters would never teach you. Um, uh, uh, some quick housekeeping stuff. Um, uh, we're dispensing with uh, going around the room. Oh, good. We're dispensing with uh, going around the room and having everybody uh, introduce themselves because otherwise, <laughs> you know, we'd be starting tomorrow. Um, well, I figured it out. Yeah, it's hopeless. Um, but uh, but I will tell you, there's there's a whole lot of uh, smart folks here in this room. Uh, some of whose names maybe the others of you know uh, uh, from reading the newsletter and so forth. Uh, but it, it's real smart to spend your time. Uh, when we're not in the room working, uh, networking with each other, not hiding out or going to play golf or going to shop or whatever else you might try and do, because there's a lot here to be learned from uh, each other, and I would encourage you to do so. The, um, the, note, the notices on the first page of your book, if you will flip open to that, um, are uh, important. And so if you haven't read them, uh, sometime real soon, it would be a uh, good idea to do so. Uh, on your next page, you have an agenda, which is relatively close to correct. Um, by the way, how many, found, how many found the first big error in the manual? 
Look at a few hands. Good. Yeah. It's if you look at your cover, it's uh, it's the seminar is taking place next year. Um, <laughs> which you gotta admit's a pretty damn good trick, huh? Um, either that or it's an indication of how long we're gonna be here to get through all, all this stuff. Um, here's what's gonna happen. The first part of today, we're, uh, the first part of the time we have together today, we're gonna get through the, the basic teaching stuff. And um, some of that uh, will be a, uh, an essential, but uh, I hope fast review of the basics because it's tough to teach advanced stuff without making sure everybody's okay on the basics. They try and commingle, but we're going to kind of zap through that stuff as best we can. The second part of today, there's a whole bunch of exhibits back in the second hunk of this manual. And um, uh, we're going to go through those exhibits. And uh, I have them all on slides. And um, yeah, you, yeah, you can just bring it up. We're not, these guys are worried about turning out a good video product, but. I'm not. <laughs> so um, uh, the, first, the first part of your manual, by the way, the pages have no numbers. They match the slides. I'm going to go through an order. You're not going to need page numbers. All of the exhibits are uh, alpha numbered, <coughs> A through Z, double A through double Z, triple A through triple Z, et cetera. So when we try and find the exhibits, uh, understand that that's uh, the way they are. Uh, tonight, uh, we're going to uh, have a, what do you need? Uh, a uh, panel, oh, I know why. You are, you're very quality conscious, aren't you? He doesn't want to record the ice. Um, which um, tells you guys, please don't, in the front row, please don't make any, like, bodily function noises, because <laughs> this microphone's live, and I don't want to spend any money on editing. Uh, tonight, uh, <laughs> Uh, tonight, um, panel discussion, uh, we have uh, e I'm not, either seven or eight um, really interesting folks uh, who have bought some stuff to, sh have brought some stuff to show and tell, um, who are real smart practitioners, the kind of things we're talking about. Uh, we're going to give you a manual tonight uh, that will be uh, tomorrow's uh, uh, ex exhibit, so later you'll get this gold manual. And uh, after we finish tonight at 9.30 or 10 o'clock, uh, you'll have homework assignments. Isn't that exciting? Um, uh, so you know, I did not use everybody's stuff. A bunch, of, a whole lot of you sent a lot of stuff. And uh, again, we only got two days. Uh, so I, I, hemp, I, I, I picked. And um, what you'll find in the exhibit manual, for example, is in some cases, maybe it was a 16-page sales letter, and all, all you've got there is page 2, 4, 7, 8, and 10, just the pages that we're going to talk about. Um, and in some cases where there's three or four of you in the same business, uh, I, I only took one or two that either had the best stuff, and I mercifully left out the person with the really crappy stuff. Um, normally, I would, you know, use you and terribly embarrass you if I had the luxury of time, but I picked the best stuff uh, or the stuff that we could uh, learn the most stuff from. Um, you will next find in your book, and don't tear it out because there's loose sheets somewhere. I guess Carla probably has them out at the table. Uh, we told you ahead of time, obviously, we were taping, and uh, that you could uh, that you could have tapes of the seminar, uh, at something less than 200 bucks, roughly approximating cost. Um, and as you see, we are taping. And uh, so uh, if you want complete tapes of this deal, there, you've got three choices here, audio only, uh, audio plus the video. And uh, the way we are selling this to non-attendees, uh, I think our 600 and some odd dollar uh, package is the audio plus the video plus a giant box of bonuses. I'm not going to take the time to, to describe in onesie twosie detail to you, but uh, uh, the uh, roll letters who are here somewhere, raise your hand, there they are. Uh, not too long ago, I don't know, last month or so, I spoke at their uh, convention. Uh, who was it? Your, how many years? Ten. Your 10th year anniversary um, uh, hodgepodge, uh, where everybody paid a lot of money to come to their anniversary party. And um, all devoted to mail order and direct marketing. And uh, we have a mountain of videos and audios and manuals 
from that convention, my presentations plus others, and um, uh, we're using that as a bonus in the mailing to the non-attendees, and so if you want that, that's your third option. And uh, please do turn that form in uh, if you want this stuff uh, today, because we are only producing enough units to satisfy you plus the inner circle members who ordered otherwise. Uh, let's see what else do we need to know. Um, you'll be charged on that when we ship, uh, probably late November, early December. Um, questions? Uh, I'm happy to take them. In fact, I would like to take them as we go. Um, and so um, uh, do not, uh, once we get going, do not sit here uh, quietly. Um, please feel free to participate. Um, those of you that are way in the back, I'll probably just restate your question. Those of you that are towards the front, we do have a live mic up here. And um, I'll drag somebody up, maybe RD, wherever she is, to move the mic around. And um, uh, I may table your question, uh, or I may choose to answer it as we go. If I table it, please make a note of it so that when we do open Q&A, we get back to them, because I want to deal with every uh, single one of them. Uh, however, uh, please try and be, don't, don't ask a question the way Joe asks a question. Um, it, it could be with a 45 minute preamble. Um, <laughs> But do not start with what you had for breakfast yesterday morning. You, you try and be concise, okay, because we got a lot of ground to go. Um, um, I'm not sure if we're already maxed out on private appointments or not, but you can check with Carla if there's any space left. It's um, first ask for, first get. So. Um, on our uh, first break. If you want some private time, you will uh, want to get to her. Um, any questions so far? 